Hello and welcome everyone to the channel Chess Final Zero. I created this weird puzzle. Black have four fast pawns, and white can win here with only one move. You have to take one of these two pawns, but which one? So pause the video and try to find uh, which pawn. If you take the e3 pawn first, now he will play a6 because if he didn't play a6 and he tried to push his pawn, uh, it is a checkmate in two more. So he must open for his king first. Now if you take the f3 pawn, he will play h2. He will not play g2, he will play h2 first. Uh, if you take this pawn, he will pr just promote to a queen and he will win. So you can't take the pawn. If you take his bishop, again he will promote to a queen and he will win. So what do you play here with white? Right now your queen is preventing him from playing g2 and h1. Uh, so you can just keep your queen here and try to use your king to take the pawns from f4. But black will play this move, bishop to d7. And bishop to d7, he wants to play bishop d6. And if he played bishop d6, he will just promote to a queen in one move. Now you don't have really any response to that. Like if you try to move your king still, he would, now he would play his bishop here. And the only thing that you can do here is just to draw by repetition. And if you didn't use your king, like what can you do here? You will place your queen here. You still have the same idea of playing his bishop here and his bishop to c6. So in this variation, you will never win with white. Only way to win is to take the g3 pawn. The difference is that this pawn is somehow near to your king. Like in any um, at any time you can use your king to stop it. But when you um, take this pawn, your king is very far from the g3 pawn. So after you take this pawn now, black will still needs to play a6 uh, because you will play queen g8 check and it will be a checkmate in two more now you will take the f3 pawn because you can't take the h3 because it is defended by his bishop um, right now black will play h2 now if you take this pawn, he will just promote to a queen, so you can't take the e3 pawn. If you take this bishop, the same. So right now, you need to keep your queen in the f3 pawn. Uh, you don't move it anywhere. You can't take his bishop, you can't take this pawn. If you try to use your king here, from d1, black have a uh, nice trick here to win with black can you find it there's only one move for black to win and this move is bishop g4 sacrificing his bishop a free bishop and attacking your queen and when you take he will promote a queen and he will win here with black so you must be careful in this end game from any tricks that black can do so you can't use your king from d1 the easiest move for white here is to place your queen to h1 now he can't promote this pawn and he can't promote this pawn but what if he tried for example play his bishop here and do the same idea of putting his bishop here now here is different because you can take the h2 pawn with your queen. It, it wasn't like um, the previous when there was h2 and uh, g3. Like g3 was defending h2. 
So here you can take his pawn and you will just win here with white. But what if he just played e2? Now you will use your king um, to stop this pawn. Like it is the only response. If you take this, he will just promote to a queen. And if you try to put your queen here now, he will just play his bishop to e4 and he will promote to a queen in h1. So the only defense is your to use your king from d2 to stop this pawn. And he don't have any move here really to, uh, to win with black. If he tried to sacrifice his bishop here, you can even take your, his bishop because uh, your queen is preventing him from h1. So any any move black will do here, he will just lose. That's the only way to win with white in uh, this puzzle. If you enjoyed it, like the video. If you want to watch the previous puzzle, click on the right. Thank you for watching.